Island. Your Grand Island, Hastings, and Kearney local forecast with meteorologist Tim Jones. Well, here's a look at uh, some video. Meteorologist Kit Conniger played just around the Guide Rock area a little bit ago. You can see some of those strong outflow winds blowing out of the storm here as uh, yeah, we're tracking these storms as they continue to sink towards the south. So another, uh, I'm just playing this off my phone here because we're under a little bit of time constraint, but also uh, take a look at this uh, large hail from the Holstein area. This is from uh, Ryan Vonku uh, that uh, sent this in from Holstein. He estimates this at about three inch hail. So uh, we've had a lot of large hail reports and let's take a look outside right now at our Hastings sky cam. As uh, you can see, uh, still have some ominous skies here. Some of that rain free area looking off to the southwest but the worst part of that thunderstorm now is off to our south or the left part of your screen and that's continuing to sink off uh, towards the south uh, towards the Kansas border. So we'll break this down uh, over the next couple minutes and then bring in meteorologist Kit Kloniger and he'll tell us what he's what he sees uh, from the field here. But one of the things that we look at when we get through a storm like this is there's a feature right here uh, and that's called a gust front or outflow from the storm and we usually see this when storms start to this the storm start to collapse a little bit now right now it looks like it's holding together but we're starting to see some stronger winds out ahead of this around franklin county down into uh, smith and jewel counties but here's where the hail has been and it's been kind of moving between holstein uh, to the south uh, to the south and southeast from blue hill to Campbell and then moving into uh, parts of Knuckles and Webster counties as well. Now the worst of the hail is just to the south, is just to the east of Red Cloud, where you can see some of this in the Cowles area uh, down around Lawrence. Some of this hail as large as uh, two inches that we've been that we've been getting reports on. But of course we have these severe thunderstorm warnings uh, continuing a part of Knuckles County as well as uh, as well as uh, Webster County and then back up uh, to the north here around the southwestern sections of Adams County as well. We'll back up here and take a look at this Webster, Kearney, uh, Franklin, Adams counties until 630. So until the bottom of the hour for about another 12 minutes or so. Now here's a look at the storm. Uh, some still some heavy rain uh, northeast of Lawrence around Deweese. So parts of uh, parts of Clay County is getting heavy rain out of this as well. But here's what we've been monitoring, at least in terms of the wind. Now this is the last 30 minutes and I want to uh, kind of go back because it looks like the winds have uh, have weakened in this area but you can see in the last animation, the last part of the animation here, uh, if we go back right in here, this was just about 618. Uh, well, I'm sorry, this is just about uh, six o'clock. Right as we came to, new to news, we had 65, 70 mile per hour winds just around the between Guide Rock and Red Cloud. And that's why I want to bring in meteorologist Kit Kloninger. Kit, you're in that Guide Rock area, I believe, between there and Red Cloud. So you're in Webster County. What have you experienced? I know you've had some gusty winds, but give us an update uh, on this storm as it continues to move to the south. Yeah, Tim, right now I'm at Highway 136 and 78, just on the north side of Guide Rock. And like you saw in that video, it's been very windy over the past 20 minutes or so since the 6 o'clock hour. I've measured from 45 to 58 mile per hour wind gusts, getting another one coming in right now at 46 miles per hour. So very gusty winds here, now up to 51 again. And we are seeing those winds off towards the Nelson area, Tim. I want to uh, direct your attention over that direction because that looks like where the most intense winds are headed right now although still pretty strong winds right now in Guide Rock, just measuring over 40 miles per hour once again. I'll go ahead and send it back in to Tim Jones, but for now, I'm meteorologist Kit Cloninger live in Storm Chaser 4. Okay, when we talk about this velocity product, you can see the green blowing towards the radar uh, in Blue Hill. So these are inbound winds to the radar. These are outbound winds, but notice how you see those lighter pinks. They've kind of collapsed, if you will, over the last uh, 10 to 15 minutes. That's good news as these storms continue to sag to the south past Highway 136. Now, hail still up likelihood here. Same areas we're seeing along and north of Highway 58. I believe that is uh, 70, excuse me, on the way up to Lawrence. So some of that large hail still in that area. Severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight includes Lincoln, Beatrice, all the way back to the Tri-Cities, although we know that the main threat right now is just to the south of Hastings. As we take a look briefly, very quickly at the seven-day forecast, notice hot and a lot of sunshine over the next seven days. No, no uh, break from the sunshine coming up, or the heat, that is, in the next seven days. Spencer? All right.